respected GTO sir and my dear friends, a very good morning to all of you. Today I have got a chance to speak on a very controversial, serious and very interesting issue, named reservation system in India, caste based reservation system in India. Friends, the social, uh, the social uh, economic based reservation system is a quite a moot point in the history as well as the present time of the country. The occupation, every person's occupation or the education or what, what kind of work he or she would do was decided on the basis of birth but not on the basis of their merit. So this is how the British understand, understood the side of the Indian society, took advantage of it and finally made this reservation system a constitution, uh, finally gave this uh, reservation system a constitutional status in India. Friends, in 1908, the British government introduced the reservation system, the caste-based reservation system for the economically backward classes like SCs, STs and OBCs. One of the most prominent, prominent event, I understand, that in 1979, when the Mandal Commission was established. Mandal Commission was assessing the situation of the present, uh, all the uh, backward classes on the basis of caste. So in 1982, Mandal Commission finally uh, recommended the changes to the present quota and recommended to raise the quota of the uh, reservation caste from 22% to 49.5%. Friends, this I consider a huge blow, a huge, a grave injustice to the people of the country who are working, working on the basis of merit. Friends, also, reservation has some advantage and disadvantage. But one of the core things I consider that is, on, that, is, that is in the root of this problem is the concept of untouchability and apartheid. Friends, untouchability and apartheid has been a long since practice uh, since the ancient time of India. But nowadays, India is the fastest growing economically, major economy in, economic uh, in the world. And uh, till 2030, we will soon become a trillion dollar economy in the world. So I think that in 21st century, the concept of untouchability, apartheid, and this kind of uh, words have no place in the society. And I strongly recommend that this concept of untouchability and apartheid should be abolished as soon as possible. Friends, one of the problem is uh, to assessing the concept of untouchability. Is uh, the concept of untouchability is not uniformly executed throughout the country. For example, in the northern parts of the country, in northern India, the concept of untouchability is uh, nearly abolished but it is morally practicing in southern part of India. So it is very difficult to assess the actual ground situations uh, that who are the oppressed class actually. Friends, there are many activists, very, uh, many social reformers who have worked uh, for the, uh, the to eradication, to eradicate the concept of untouchability and to work for the poor people and to work for the uh, oppressed people. Like Mahatma Jyoti Rao Phule, uh, Dr. Bhim Rao Ambedkar and also Chhatrapati Shahuji Maharaj, etc. Friends, there are some advantages as well as disadvantages uh, of the reservation system in India. One of the points I consider is the reservation system is a grave injustice to the people who considers merit as a point. The reservation system is nowadays can is more, more often used for the political benefits also rather than the social benefits. Also, uh, the merit of the, the actual talent of the country is moving out of the country. One of the famous quotes I, I, I read on the social media that uh, we will take your reserve, you keep your reserve. So this thing I consider the most uh, uh, imp important thing in the present reservation system of India because the reserve people will go out and, you know, and we will keep the reserve people. So we will not get any kind of merits and this will ultimately lead to the uh, loss of efficiency in the administration. Finally, also the India will trap into the into the caste caste into the caste paradigm, and it will be difficult for us to get out of this. So, at the end, I would uh, I would strongly urge that the concept of untouchability and apartheid must be removed, must be abolished as soon as possible, because we are now uh, uh, we are now living in 21st century, and also the economically backward class, the reservation systems should be on economically backward class. The person who actually deserves, he or she must get it. But the person who is actually, uh, who, who, has, who has done well, who has, uh, who has took enough advantage of the reservation system, could uh, voluntarily, uh, voluntarily give, uh, give up this. So at the end, I, I strongly recommend that reservation system 
uh, should not be about abolished, but it, it should be, it should be on the basis of economical background. So that's all I have to say. Uh, thank you so much for giving me a chance to speak before you. Thank you so much. Jai.